This week on Miked Up, communion in the hand, church tradition or church scandal. You won't want to miss this episode live Wednesday, April 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. We sometimes hear from viewers, you guys at churchmilton.tv are too negative, always with the bad news and the boo birds, doom and gloom. Well, first of all, that's not true. We have 300 plus hours of programs on our premium channel to testify for us that we are very upbeat about the faith and rejoice in its glory. Nonetheless, here in this one single program, The Vortex, we do talk about what many others in the church don't want talked about. Yep, the bad stuff, because we subscribe to the axiom that not talking about it doesn't make it go away. And thankfully, others are finally beginning to talk about it too. Some have been for a while, but now more people are catching on to the crisis. For example, this new book, Young Catholic America, it is a massively in-depth analysis of American Catholics aged 18 to 23, what it labels as emerging Catholics, referring to them becoming adults. So look at this. Among many of their analyses, they examined a number of interviews with young Catholics over the space of five years. Here is what they found. 17% had become apostates, meaning totally abandoned the church, their Catholic identity, had joined no other religion, and were critical of the church. 12% they labeled as switchers, thrown in the towel on Catholicism, and joined some other faith. Now bear in mind that those two categories alone add up to almost 30%. But wait, there's more. 27% they labeled as estranged. They hold on to a self-proclaimed Catholic identity, but are critical of the teachings and choose to distance themselves from the church. Now, in case you're keeping track of the running total, we are now at 56% of young Catholics who are no longer visibly attached to the church. Next, 15% are counted as nominal. They have a Catholic social identity, but do not practice the faith. These are your buddies who say they're Catholic, and that's where it ends. Running total for the curious, we now stand at 71%. 71% of 18 to 23-year-old Catholics are out of the church to one degree or another. But the survey results continue. Researchers labeled 29% as engaged, meaning they embrace their Catholic identity and find faith to be important and meaningful, but, wait for it, don't believe all the church's teachings. These are, for the most part, representative of the type of kids you find at most Catholic colleges or in Newman centers on campuses around the nation. Catholic in name and feeling and emotion, but not in will and intellect. So back to our running counter, 71% from all the categories before, plus this 29% equals 100%. But there's another category the researchers created, devout. They defined this category as those 18 to 23 year old Catholics who practice their faith consistently, are able to articulate church doctrine, believe the teachings, and expect to remain Catholic. While not a precise theological definition of devout, it will certainly pass for a sociological one. Problem is, and here is the quote from the researchers, there were none we could categorize as devout. Closed quote. Yep, out of the six categories of devout, engaged, nominal, estranged, switchers, and apostates, none, zero, nada, none, could be found who were categorized as devout. Sheesh, and they say we here at churchmilton.tv are negative. Nope, folks, we aren't negative, but we talk about the negative and tell you about it so faithful Catholics, what few there are left, will wake up. And yes, when we say this represents a massive failure, really unprecedented beyond anything in the history of the church on the part of bishops and their staffs. We aren't just bishop bashing like some people say. That's ridiculous. 
It's the head in the sand crowd that likes to say that, oh, you're bishop bashing, because they don't want to talk about these things. They say we are uncharitable for saying these things about bishops. Wrong again. Now, perhaps somehow these CMTV bashers don't see these same types of data because they mysteriously rarely ever say anything about them. But we see them, and we're not going to not say something. Here is the reality among the young. The church is finished. An extensive survey following kids for five years found not one kid that could be called devout. The few others in the 29% that remain marginally co connected have found some spiritual tonic that suits their personalities, but not their souls. The other 71% have just drifted away in varying distances, some completely, others mostly. We aren't conducting these surveys. We are reporting on them. For the Church of Nice crowd in the establishment and their allies on the internet, that's a distinction that seems lost on you. You almost never hear this news in the Catholic media, and that's because their marching orders from the U.S. bishops are to shut up about these kinds of stories. Focus on the good, tell the nice things, blah, 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 blather on about ad nauseum, for, about joy and happiness and God is love. And for goodness sake, do not preach on contraception and homosexuality and all that stuff because they'll leave the church faster than they already are. Newsflash, there is barely anything left of a church for any Catholic to leave. Bishops have one narrow window to address this disaster before the 18 to 23 year old children of today's 18 to 23 year old children, Catholics are born and come of age. They must immediately end their policy of not preaching the truths of the faith. The clock is ticking. Bishops in America and other places are down to their last generation. 75 to 100 year olds, you still pretty much have, but they are dying off quickly. 50 to 75 year olds, roughly the baby boomers, you pretty much lost them. 25 to 50 year olds, ciao. That leaves this current generation, the ones who were just profiled from all the research, and more than 70% of them want nothing to do with you bishops and your church. They think your religion is a joke, which in truth, it has been treated as by quite a few of you. So, the question, what are you doing right now, today, when you get up in the morning, what are you doing to stem the tide? What's the plan? And don't say it's another archbishop's fundraiser. In a handful of years, everyone in the 75 to 100 year old demographic will be dead, and along with them almost everyone who could be counted as devout. Here's your plan. Say the truth for the love of God and the love of these souls in your care, say the truth. And for my fellow Catholics in the Catholic media and blogs and anywhere else, stop critiquing everything we or others say to pump up your website hits and add your voice to ours and start demanding fidelity from our shepherds. And before you start writing a pointless review of this vortex, remember this, 0% could be considered devout. That's your story. Not me, not the Vortex, and not churchmilitant.tv. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.